Previously, we have talked about the iPhone 5S in 2017, and the final result was yes. Or if you haven't watched the uh, video, make sure to do it. It's on the top right corner. Well, if you want a little more upgrade, uh, upgraded phone than the iPhone 5S, it would have been the iPhone 6 or the 6S. Before I keep on talking, blah blah blah, you have got to accept the fact that the iPhone 5S was able to impress you in many different ways. Well, so what about the iPhone 6S now? Should you buy the iPhone 6S in 2017? So what is up guys, it's Zaki here and today we'll be taking a look at the iPhone 6S. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Well, what can a phone price that $359 offer? The iPhone 6S was released in 2015. The design is very simple to the iPhone 6 and similar that was released in 2014. You have got that same metal aluminium body with matte color finish. The iPhone 6S rocks at the Apple's A9 processor and 2 gigs of RAM. And let me just say this, the iPhone 6S flies with the specs that it has to offer. Well, if you have already decided to buy the iPhone 7, then wait a minute. The iPhone 6S and the 7 has almost the same specs and except for the iPhone 7 Plus, the if you are interested in watching my review on the iPhone 7 Plus, then make sure to check that out from the link on the top right corner of the screen. If you have decided to pick up the iPhone 6S in 2017, you are going to have an incredible performance for sure. Talking about the design, the 6S has a 4.7 inch retina display that, get goes, that does get pretty bright. The display is very crisp and for daily use is just phenomenal. The iPhone 6S is very well built when it comes to Apple's product, they are really really well built. Taking the MacBook Air as an example which I reviewed and also unboxed, link on the description and also somewhere on the screen. The iPhone 6S is covered with a uh, 7000 series aluminium which makes it feel more durable. It, it is also super easy to reach all corners of the screen uh, with one hand and that that is what usually matters for me the most part. Taking a look at the battery, the iPhone 6S has a battery capacity of 1715 uh, milliamp which isn't much uh, but trust me with low power mode and a little tweaks you will be fine with this device. Talking about the camera, the iPhone 6S has a juiced 12 megapixel f2.2 front cam back camera uh, back camera that provides you with very decent quality pictures. The sensor that is being built in the camera is really good and you will normally realize that when taking pictures, the camera also supports live photos which is incredible for the most part. The camera also records 4K video at 30 frames per second which is really impressive because to be honest, my 780 doesn't even record at 4K. However, if you are willing to record at 4K then I would recommend you to choose the 64 version or more so that you ha just don't run out of space. You can also shoot full HD slow motion at 1080p. The front uh, front camera has a 5 megapixel f2.2 lens, which also records 10 mega uh, 10 1080p video. Impressive, huh? Oh, one more thing uh, is that the front camera also gives you that retina flash, allowing you to take brighter pictures. And I will do a full camera review on the iPhone 6s and also the 7 Plus. So make sure to check all of them out. They will be out really really soon. The camera is good enough to be around for the next couple of years but obviously don't expect any DSLR resolution from a smartphone. Speaking about software updates, be sure that this guy is supported by Apple and so you'll be having all the software updates including iOS 11 that was announced in WWDC 2017. The 6S is rocking a 64-bit operating system so do expect updates till 2020 or so. The iPhone 6S also has 3D touch so yeah it is a great feature that you can get in, in the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus which makes sense why you should buy the iPhone 6S in 2017. The iPhone 6S has the second generation touch ID which is a lot faster if compared to the first generation in the iPhone 5S. So finally let's take a look at the price. The iPhone 6S comes for $379 from Amazon which is a good deal. The phones are certified refurbished and as mentioned before uh, in my last video refurbished phones are not bad at all however during black friday the price will drop a lot but this is a long time from now and speaking about my other video if you haven't watched my 
last video make sure you do so it will be in the end screen and also on the top right corner so that's basically it for today guys hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and for more reviews coming up this week subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next one and oh yeah my website is linked below do check it out link uh everything is linked below goodbye guys take care peace